Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hi, Arnoldo. Good evening, Gabby, Judy. Hello, guys. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, there you go. Judy, hello. Hi, Adolfo. Good evening. Christian, how are you doing, Christian? Hi, good evening. Fine. Good evening, guys. How is your Wednesday going? Is everything okay? Everything good? Yeah, it's all fine. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Is it raining? Is it still raining in your house, guys? A little. A little bit. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully, um, it is not right going now. No, teacher. Mm, okay. Okay. So you are in Santa Ana, right, Judy? Pero yo creo que ya bien. <laughs> no, don't call it me. <laughs> oh, seriously? So it is about to rain? Oh, so bad. Okay. Well, eh, esperemos que no nos afecte mucho, right? And hopefully we can have like uh, classes normally. Igual, mis cualquier cosita, let me know, and, and I'm going to keep an eye there. Um, mm -mm, let me see. I see here. Kenya. Hi, Kenya. Good evening. Great to see you, Kenya. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Fine. Good evening. Is it, is it better now? So is it a little better? Or is it still raining? Uh, so, ya le dio un poco más de tiempo a la lluvia. Did you get like a, a little bit, a little bit of a rest? Hmm. Well, guys, uh, definitely it has been like super, super crazy, right? But espero que estén bien. I just hope you're doing fine and I just hope everything is going smoothly in your houses. So, um, thanks a lot. Gracias por acompañarnos el día de hoy. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the, um, give me a sec. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Okay, so thank you for your time and thanks a lot guys for being super, super uh, responsible, committed and for being here with us today. Um, okay, oh no, that was Paola. So Paola was here. Uh, guys, what about the rest? How are you doing? Lo siento bien callado. Callados ahora? I feel you're kind of quiet, kind of shy. Come on, guys. It's the belly bottom of the week. Ya es el ombliguito, you know? So we are about to finish the whole week. Todavía extrañan vacaciones? <laughs> are you hoping to have more vacation? Are you tired? What is it, guys? Are you working? Um, I think I got a... Arnoldo, are you working today? Are you at home? Uh, Kenya, are you working? Are you at home? Not teacher. I am at home. Yeah, yes, that's good. Okay, so those are... Definitely good news, and yes, esperemos que la lluvia um, no les afecte mucho today. And you can you can participate, and we can listen to your uh, participation here as well. Okay, guys, so vamos a iniciar nuestra sesión número ocho. We're going to get started with session number eight. The topic for today is related to marketing still, but I have some questions for you, and I'm hoping, guys, to listen to your opinion on this. So let's take a look here. Uh, question number one says, do you compare prices at different stores when you shop? Um, I think Carlos said this before, but todavía no venido. Hi, Helen, good evening. So guys, do you normally compare prices in different stores? Or do you go straight and buy the products? Hi, hi there, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Good to hear that, good to hear that. So um, what is, oh, what's going on? Okay, so guys, what about number one? Uh, do you normally compare prices? 
Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes tell, I compare. Uh -huh. Tell me about it. Uh, I think Bad Store has the, the lowest price. The logo? The lowest. Price. Ah, okay. So you try to check or you try to find the lowest price. Okay. Okay. Uh, so when when do you normally compare prices or for what products? Shoes, food, uh, what exactly? Mm, almost everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so that is really nice. Okay. Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? Do you compare prices at some stores? Yeah, of course. Okay, in what kind of products? Can you too? Right now, uh -huh. I am searching a ring. Why? Is that for you? Is that a wedding ring? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's, it's for me. Oh, okay, nice. So you're comparing like prices of different rings or yes, how does it go? Because. Yes, because in the publicity, me salió. How do you say me salió? I got. <laughs> I, I received. Got, uh -huh. I received a notification that mm -hmm. in Simang, in online, had the 25% of the scone. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, nice. Yes, but I, I, I am searching in other places. Oh, to compare because the price. Because sometimes it is, is, is not true. Mm, okay. The discount, yes. But did, did you get that, the... That the, is why I compare. Oh, but in the in the platform, in the website, uh, Simon's website, did you get, or did you see, did you get to see the discount in the, in the yes. item, in the product? Yes, you can see the original price. Mm -hmm. And the new price with the discount. Mm, okay, uh, but that is a really good thing. Also, uh, I think that you need to check, like the um, uh, the small letters, right? <laughs> like the policies, the conditions. Yeah. Because sometimes prices are only for online things, or and not for the stores. So yes, in this uh -huh. case, it's only online. Oh, only online. Okay. <laughs> And it's yeah. difficult because I don't know my size. Exactly, exactly. Uh, can you return it in case it doesn't fit? I, I think that yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yes, they, they have when you are fin the, the, the portions, mm -hmm. they pay if you want to return the Mm -hmm. the um, the portions mm -hmm. or if you want the money mm -hmm. of if you want a, a card oh a okay gift card. oh so yes. you can get a reimbursement exactly oh okay so that is good news i guess that is definitely good okay nice so wow you are doing it already so you're like comparing prices here guys what about the second one i guess this is kind of a hard question do you enjoy shopping guys do you like it yes sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. it says yes yeah, sometimes uh gabby arnoldo guys do you like shopping is that something that you really like Hi, Angelica. Good evening. Adolfo, tell us, guys, what, why do you like shopping? And what do you like shopping? Because it's not the same. Or where my, do you like shopping? My, my, yeah, of course. Everyone is, uh, like to, to go to the shopping, of course. But I, I shop. The necessary. Um, I I am not a person that shop every everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, I I am not. Um, You're not a shopaholic. Yeah, no, I am not a shopaholic. Right. Okay, 
Okay, yeah. so you're not obsessed. Yeah. You're not crazy about shopping. Okay, okay. Yeah. But do you like it? Do you like going shopping? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Or or if it is not shopping, at least in a way we like to go window shopping, right? That is something that we previously discussed. So shopping or yeah. window shopping. Okay. Uh guys, what about the rest of you? Yeah. Judy, you said yes. Uh, why? What? where how who <laughs> so um tell us give us more information is yes for um <laughs> try or say it in spanish y aquí le ayudamos no se preocupe no worries i buy in the supermarket mm -hmm. um the food, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the Centro Comercial. Okay, mall. the shopping mall. Uh -huh. uh, the shopping mall is the shoes. Okay. So you like buying shoes? Buy the shoes and okay. buy, the clo buy the clothes. Okay. Okay, so clothes, shoes. Hi, Angelica. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Imelda. Good evening, guys. Okay, so that is something that you enjoy shopping. So shoes, clothes. All right. Um, going to the supermarket, you said. All right. Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? So Kenya, uh, Helen, do you like to go shopping? Uh, Arnoldo, Christian, you said yes, but no, you said sometimes, but what? Uh huh. But what? Uh, I don't like go shopping, for example, in a drugstore. Ah, okay. Not not medicine. It's, that is correct. Why not? Mm, because uh, that's me. I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> okay. Do you feel depressed whenever you go to a drugstore? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what do you like to go shopping? Um, for example, in a, uh, in a hardware store. Uh, uh, okay. I like shop gadget, uh, computers, or, or... In a hardware store, what's your favorite? Uh, Office Depot. Oh, interesting, okay. So like an electronic store. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. okay. You know, I don't know why, guys, but I really like to go to EPA. <laughs> so EPA for me, or Walmart, I, I really like them. Uh, but not the normal despensa de Don Juan, but the Walmart, you know, the big one. So uh, me for too. me, they are super cool. Me too. I like to go EPA. What do you normally buy at EPA? Um, for example, um, batteries. <laughs> batteries? <laughs> for the yeah. cell phone? Mm, no, um, for example. Or what kind of batteries? Um, for a car? Trip, AAA. Ah, oh, the small the, batteries for different electronic devices. Yeah, for. Oh. Yeah, for mouse or. Ah, oh, oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> I, I like to go, to, I don't know, I really like to go to Apple, but I don't know what. <laughs> Okay, so that's really good to know. So you like to buy batteries. Okay, guys, the next question I think can be a little bit sensitive for some. Hi, Rafael, good evening. Um, but, you know, if you feel comfortable, you can answer this one. If you don't feel comfortable, it is okay. So the question says, do you ever buy secondhand things? So secondhand is what we call used things, right? Como ropa usada o cosas usadas in this case. So do you ever buy second hand? This is the word that we use for the, uh, a product that is not brand new. Call it 
eh, I don't know, some spare parts for your car, probably some books, probably some things. So guys, uh, how do you feel about this question? Um, is that okay for you to answer it? Uh, do you ever, or yes. have you ever bought anything that is not Yes, new? for me it's okay. Oh, okay. So what yes. is something that you would buy? I, I love books. So I, I really I, like to buy books. I have problems when I was pregnant because I don't have baby shower. Oh, for okay. the pandemic. Oh, yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. How old is your baby now? Yeah. Then and in that moment, the mm -hmm. people don't have a lot of um how how do you say tiendas? Stores. A lot of stores online. Mm -hmm. Then I only found one. Okay. And that is play and replay. Then play. I I I enjoy buy a, a lot of things that are uh, of second hand. Is that in El Salvador? Because, yes, it's in El Salvador. What is the name again? Play and replay. Oh. It's only clothes, shoes, and a lot of things for for babies. Oh, sounds really nice. Can you find yes, babies good... and children? Oh, can you find good prices? Yes, yes. Um, um the the baby's clothes not not is a lot use. Mm -hmm. Look like new. So they are in good condition. Because the baby, the baby, how do you say? Quickly, rapido, dejan la ropa. Uh -huh. They don't fit. <laughs> so they uh, yes. don't fit. Uh -huh. They don't fit. Okay. Then the, the clothes is like new. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. I, don't, I don't find the store. <laughs> so pay like pay, mm, they right? Have, they have... Um, the the online page play and replay okay. and they have and um an instagram mm -hmm. you can find but you know i don't get it <laughs> i don't find it but but it's like pay like paying right and then replay or repay play replay. oh play and replay Oh, yes. play and replay. Oh, very interesting. Yes, they have toys too. Ah, okay. Well, but that sounds amazing. I'm super sorry to hear that you didn't have a baby shower. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Yes, but, <laughs> was sad. <laughs> yeah, but, well, but the good thing is that you find, uh, you found like a good place uh, to do some shopping here, so. Yeah. Yes, oh. and that helped a lot. Of yeah. With, with the clothes, the things, with all. Then the other stores mm -hmm. uh, make the the store online. Oh, but that's at the right. beginning, don't don't have don't have a lot. So, how old is your baby now? Like two years. Two years. Yes. Oh, so she like born quarantine. In <laughs> June 2020, 2020. Wow. So your baby was like in the in the in COVID, you know? In the beginning. Oh, yes. I like the wow, that must have been really difficult. In March, all the pregnancy um was to home. Went to yeah. home. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow. Okay. Oh, yes, I found the store. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks super, super cool. And yeah, I saw the toys. Yes. Oh, very nice. They, they have packs. Uh, packs? Packs, yes. They, I, I, I don't know how do you say tres mamelucos, dos shorts. Oh, like sets. Yes, like sets. Oh, they, they sell some sets. Okay. Sets. 
Okay, yes. good. But right now they have a little that in that moment. Oh no, but that is, that sounds amazing. Yes. Kenya, I'm and super you, happy you to can hear park. you. <laughs> uh -huh, continue, you can please. park uh -huh. and you can sell, you can sell too. Ah, okay, okay, sounds amazing. Yes. Kenya, you, I'm super you happy make, to hear uh, you speak in English, so I don't want to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can make the the meeting in in the in the application. They oh, have an okay. application. Oh, but that is that can... sounds nice. Yes, it's nice. Oh, okay. And they they give you points and you can buy other things. Oh, okay. So you can be accumulating like some points. All right. Yes. Sounds definitely it's amazing. Like, uh, un intercambio, el canje. like an exchange. Exchange, yes. That would be an exchange. All right. Thank you so much for that. I really, I'm gonna follow the page. That sounds really cool. Uh, so guys, what 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 do you think about this question? I really love uh, Kenya's opinion on this because it is surreal. Back in quarantine, there were no stores and maybe you needed something like at the moment. And uh, yeah, so guys, what do you think about this? Do you ever, or have you ever bought secondhand things? But yes, at the moment cloud. and cheaper. <laughs> oh, cheaper. at the moment and cheaper. That's because right. it's a lot of the, the expense. Okay, you can baby. reduce. You can at the reduce. Yes. Uh -huh. Some costs. Okay. That's right. Email that tell us. Hi Danielle. Good evening. I, uh, I agree evening, with the young of Kenya because I have yeah, bought yeah, yeah. some things that are um in a better quality in a better price oh. for example i bought my my uh, office chair uh, oh, uh -huh. a couple of years ago maybe when i, I start to work maybe from home six, no before maybe oh, okay. six or seven years ago because oh. yeah. i i always i have to continue my work in my house. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I needed a, a, a chair, comfortable. Okay. Um, I looked at the prices of a new chair and it was very expensive. Uh, yes. uh, the, because I have uh, some problems in my back, so I need a good chair. Um, oh. So I look for the option for example, in Office Depot, and it was very, very expensive. I remember uh, $100 to up. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, I have checked that as well. Okay, uh, uh, over $100. And can we know like the price that you got, like the bargain yes, you got? I got my chair uh, in $15. Uh, 15, five, one five? Uh, sorry. ¿Cómo es el 50? Oh, 50. 50. Yes. Oh, ok. Ok, half price. I thought yes. 15. Oh, my God. ¿Dónde le encontró? No, pero uh, the, the chair that I bought, the, pre, the price, um, ¿cómo decir? The, la, el misma, la misma silla nueva. Ok. ¿Cómo sería? Uh, a new this, chair. Uh -huh. it's a, would it be like an outlet? Do Sorry, you know teacher, if was... I don't hear you. Would it be oh. like an outlet? Sería como una especie mm. de outlet. No, oh. it, it was a second hand uh, store. Oh. I, I bought uh, the, the same, same chair. chair, but yes. cheaper. Uh, yes, because oh. that chair new, it cost maybe. Two hundred dollars because yes. have very good functions. Wow! So a quarter of the price. Yes. Wow! That was it's I got nice. to use this word. <laughs> that was a real bargain. So eso es una cachada. That was a real bargain. Yeah, bargain. <laughs> wow! Amazing. Yeah. So fifty dollars uh, out of two hundred. Do you still have the chair? Yes, I still use it. <laughs> oh, nice. So, and you said that you bought it six years ago. So it was yes. good quality. Yes, it's good quality. Uh, they, they have 
many features that a new chair uh, it ¿Cómo sería? Que no tienen? That they don't that they don't have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or they lack. Lack also we can use it como les falta, right? So that they lack. Okay. Wow, nice. Sounds really good. Guys, I don't know if you are familiar with the word outlet. Um, there is another way, right? We have second hand, como de segunda mano, usadas or something. And then we have outlet, que son like same company, same quality, pero con algunos detallitos de fábrica. So we can also have outlet yes. things as well. Guys, what about the rest? Tell us your stories. They are super interesting. So five, you... uh, five, five months ago, mm -hmm. I went to shopping center. Ah, okay. And I bought a thermical clothes to go to, to Volcán de Fuego, Guatemala. For example, wow. a new what brand, did, uh -huh. a new brand, a new brand. Huh? What did you get? Yes. You said that you got thermical uh, for clothes. For example, yeah, thermical clothes. For, for example, in a normal or, or standard store, mm -hmm. uh, the value of it's about around Adolfo uh, you're breaking so if you quizás apague la camarita un momento you're breaking a little so and I lost you I don't see you anymore hi Carlos good evening uh great to good have evening. you here hello hello uh, okay I'm so going. Oh, okay. Adolfo is back. Tell us, Adolfo. Uh, yeah. Um, and for example, in in Columbia store, mm -hmm. a thermical clothes is about two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And and the shopping center, I got I bought a thermical clothes for eight dollars. Eight dollars. Was it a sweater? Good quality. Yeah. Sweating oh, okay. and pants and pants, oh. socks. Oh, and the whole suit. Stuff. So it yeah. was the suit. Complete. Okay. Oh, sounds it's really good. good. It's you a know? good option. I love going to mountains. So I want to buy yeah. a pair of boots. Of I want to buy a pair of hiking boots. I, I went to, I, yeah, I went to the Volcan de Fuego. And I saw, I watched uh, the eruption all the night. Wow, yeah, yeah people say that. that Guatemala's volcano is amazing. That is so tired. That is papayas, right? It's so tired to have it. Yeah, six I hours. I imagine, definitely mm -hmm. a very nice uh, walk. Wow, sounds pretty good. And uh, so that was $8 bargain. Wow, Daniel, what did you buy? I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay, in, in, in my case, teacher, I only buy using teams in slope with my with my son, for my son. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they, he have two years old. Oh, all right. And the, the, the slope is practice new because the, 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 the time of use uh, this slope is maximum Two six times. months the times of use mm -hmm. this, uh, this, this type of clock mm -hmm. is five, six, five or six months maximum and i think mm -hmm. that kenya mentioned something very similar right that with babies uh yeah. they don't wear clothes for long periods maybe just yeah. once yeah. twice mm -hmm. and they grow mm -hmm. super fast Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. So guys, I'm super happy to hear that you have gotten really good bargains. Do you use marketplace guys uh, for getting some bargains too? Or do you prefer to go to a physical store? I use, uh, I use marketplace. Yes. You use marketplace. For, okay. for sale and, and buy. Oh, to, sell. Sell, to sell is good too. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> okay, yeah. If, if you are a biznero, that's right. Hi, Noemi, <laughs> good evening. Uh, so we are talking here. Uh, hi, if you have bought like secondhand clothing, Delmi, hello, great to see you, Delmi. So, uh, or from an outlet, or if you have gotten really good prices, right? So that is the one. Um, so 
Let's just move on here. The second one we have is this one. This picture here that looks like a casino that is called gambling, right? Or gamble. Do you yeah. gamble, guys? Have you ever gone or have you ever been to a casino? Have you ever lost or have you ever won some money uh, from gambling? I, I only I only play solitary I at my at my computer. Okay. <laughs> solitary. I don't, but I, go, I, go, I don't go uh, never you don't go, to, uh, okay. to casino. Yes. You don't go to yes. a casino. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you don't gamble either. So you don't mm. gamble. No, no. Because no. in the cell phone, I think that you can uh, play and make mm. money too. Uh -huh, I'm not sure. I don't Guys, know. <laughs> uh -huh, no, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. Guys, do you normally or have you ever been to a casino? Tell us your experience. In a casino, for me, no. But mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time in my breaks in university gamble with my 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 with your my, well uh, your classmates. Uh -huh. classmates. Oh. Yes, we only gamble like uh, five cents. The most. Oh, okay. But we, we we have a little break for the all the all the study. So oh. I have my own uh, play for poker. They have the the features. Okay. Yeah. The the chips that would be mm -hmm. yes and when we have time with my mother and my sister we mm -hmm. gamble with that that chips so i like oh. to uh, play with cars and sometimes gamble this is uh, exciting because you can bluffing oh <laughs> yes but you a, don't a time. <laughs> but you don't uh, gamble money right i mean <laughs> you don't bet oh, uh -huh. no, just some but, churritos, cookies. <laughs> okay. No, the, with the with the uh, in the in the box, uh, mm -hmm. they have um, the 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 features. I send this with. They have a uh, un monto signal. Ah, know. okay. So that's the point they have. Oh, that, oh. Plastic, so <laughs> no, but that, that sounds amazing, especially that you mentioned that you used to play back in the university. Did you ever win? Yes, what was the maximum amount you won? Uh, I think it was uh five dollars. <laughs> ah, that was a lot of money. Did you lose oh. a lot? Excuse me, did you lose? Did you lose a lot of money when gambling? No, not too much. We don't uh, make that kind of uh, games all the time because we have to uh, study. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then, or we use the money for the materials for the class. <laughs> no, but that was good. Five dollars. That was a lot of money. If you only play with five cents. So yeah. that sounds nice. Okay. So you are very, you are a pro, you know, in these uh, kind of things. Amazing. Okay, guys, anybody else gambled? Mm, uh, I'm staying in a hotel with casino, but oh, okay. I don't feel attractive, at, attracted to, to gambling. Go, yeah. Uh -huh. So you just saw it? Yeah, only see, but no uh, play with any machine. Oh, or okay. sit in a table and gambling. Oh, okay. But still, that was a good experience, you know? You saw it um, like firsthand. Okay. Um, hi, Margarita, good evening. And here, guys, we have the last question that says, do you have a credit card? Because this is very interesting. <laughs> guys, do you normally use a credit card? Yes, I use 
frequently. Okay. What kind of products mm -hmm. do you pay with a credit card? Uh, all, really, all the products. Mm -hmm. um, I buy the supermarket, the restaurant, mm -hmm. or whatever place when I accept the credit card. <laughs> ah, okay. But okay. never, never uh, retirar. I don't remember. Withdraw. We, withdraw. I never withdraw the, the, in the, in the uh, um, automatic machine. So Only you never, for five. you never withdraw cash? No, never, never. Ah, okay. And don't do it, Miss. Le cobran. <laughs> so you yes. get charged. Yes. Yes. Uh, Unfortunately, I worked my, my, my first job was uh, in a bank. Ah, okay. And I, I, learned, I learned how the credit card is the functional. Ah, very good. Yeah. So you can give us some tips on how to use the credit yes. card more efficiently. Sounds amazing. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. uh, yes. It, the credit card, I think, is not bad, mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of people um, can use it. That is a reality. I am one of them. <laughs> I try <laughs> to use it only for emergencies. Um, there is this word, guys, that is in the chat that is misuse, uh, right? So uh, misuse actually refers to that. Que no las podemos usar, como el mal uso. So we misuse credit cards. I totally agree with you. Uh, Delmi, I'm sorry. I saw your hand up. Tell us, Delmi. Tell yes. us your experience. Miss, no se quede con las ganas de participar, you know? No. In <laughs> my case, it. I don't have, I don't like because it's an extra outflow of money of, of interest. Okay, because you need to pay an interest. That's interesting. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, I think mm -hmm. that, that you have to have knowledge about the financial yes. if you want to have a credit card. Okay. Yeah, it's correct. You you have to use only for discount, for promotion, or for things that, that like that. But you have to have the money on your hand for pay in the moment. I agree on and that. And that is the form that you don't pay. Um, interest. Interest, yes. I totally agree on that, yes. But it's good. My... It's good use credit card. I never and pay interest. You, can, you never you pay can. interest. No, because yes. when you know how do you how do you your credit card is functional, uh, you pay you you buy only the necessary, and you can use your 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 money. Mm -hmm. uh, um, according to the to the limit of the credit card. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And you mentioned something that is necessary, Daniel. Tell mm -hmm. us. I think that you had something else to, uh, to add here. Yes, teacher. In my case, I use the credit card only for for buy and um, for example, a uh, a laundry. Laundry. Laundry, la, lavadora. Ah, laundry okay, like the machine. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I pay, I pay without uh, rate interest. Uh, interest. Interest, yes. Mm -hmm. Without interest, I pay uh, 12, I don't see quotas sin interest. Ah, okay, okay. This is, this is the use, this is the, this is the form when I use the credit card. Okay, mm -hmm. to have a monthly payment. Oh, I, I like that. I like the way that works. Mm -hmm. To have monthly payments. Okay. If, if the, the price is insane, if you buy in cash. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. totally, totally right. That is one of the advantages. Uh, guys, mm -hmm. anything else you want to add on how to use the credit card? In, in my case, 
Yes, I, present. I have a credit card. Uh, I I use it uh, too much, mm, but I have the rule. Mm -hmm. I have to pay the bill before expires. Mm, that is a really good thing. Okay, so uh, I think that Noemi or Kenya mentioned that you need to have like the cash to pay it, right? And you already mentioned to pay it before the limit or the due date. Mm -hmm. That saves a lot of interest. That is a good thing. Okay, okay. So you said it is not bad, right? The problem is that we forget that it is not our money <laughs> and we need to pay this back. Okay. Guys, amazing. I'm super happy to listen. More, more voices here, giving your opinion, giving your ideas. Christian, you're very shy, but you are sharing a lot today. Very nice job. Sounds okay, super cool. You. Okay, guys, let's move on a little bit. And uh, oh, uh, just uh, this little thing. Remember, guys, that we have this expression uh, that is too much. But remember that too much is como exageradamente, right? If I if I say, oh, I like it too much, or I have too many, so significan cosas negativas in a way because it's demasiado. Pero demasiado que no lo necesito. So just be a little careful with this. Um, because creo que por ahí escuché una expresión that way, pero me da lo, la idea que fue algo negativa. For example, if I say, I drink coffee. Sorry, I drink coffee too much. Too much. Coffee, too much. So when I say the word too much means más de lo necesario. Hasta el punto que ya es malo. Exactly. To the point that it's not good for me. So I drink coffee too much. So just be careful. Si es um, una expresión, you know, eh, but es diferente. Si I drink coffee too much, then saying I drink a lot of coffee. So a lot of coffee es bastante café, pero no el punto que es malo todavía, right? So, and I'm bringing this because we are going to use the other expression that is enough to be. So too much and too many, that means Más de lo que necesito, más de lo necesario. If I say, I gasto demasiado, I spend too much money, right? So that is más de lo que necesito gastar. Um, if I want to say, tengo muchos zapatos, tengo demasiados, que ya no sé qué hacer con ellos, I have too many pairs of shoes, pero me da la idea que es algo muy malo. Now, ¿cuál sería lo opuesto de too much and too many? So the opposite is this beautiful expression we have that enough. says enough, exactly. So enough, right? Tengo lo necesario o suficiente of something. So let's get started and let's work with this little conversation we have here. It says, analyze the components of a product and price a strategy for a famous national product or service. Guys, está lloviendo un poquito here. Si no me escuchan, please me avisan. Si me empiezo a quebrar, me avisan, please. Let me know, because uh, está lloviendo super fuerte. Guys, repitan conmigo, please. Strategy. 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 OK, vamos a cambiar esta T por una R. Stra strategy. 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 So this is plural, strategies. 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 Perfect. Strategies. So um, analyze the components of a product and price the strategies of a famous national product or service. Yes. And uh, we have a couple of words that are very interesting here. So uh, first, let's go over um, some words that I'm sure you know what they mean. But solo para propósitos de pronunciación, let's go over them one more time. So let me just go here. We have this one. Counter. And we have this one. Help. Help. Bus. There we go. Okay, guys. So repeat with me, please. Uh, recognize. 
Recognize. Recognize. Recognize. Yes. Recognize. 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 Okay. Recognize. Easily. 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 Advertising. 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 Renewing. Advertising. Renewing. Renewing. Packaging. 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 Uh, and this word help us. Help, 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 but help, 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 we are gonna put help, it together. Help, 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 help us. us. Help us. Help us. guys. Put it together. Put them together. Help us. Help us. Yes, help perfect. Us. There you go. Help us. So help it is us. fast enough to help us. Exactly. Help so us whenever, through. cuando vemos una una consonante y luego una vocal, normalmente unimos los dos sonidos. So help us. No vamos a separar. Help us. And the next word is counter. 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 Perfect. There we go. Okay. So I would like to have two volunteers. Uh, oh, one more. I'm sorry. Uh, olvide esta, esta, esta eh, que tenemos acá. That is make us. But again, make la vamos, a, us. La vamos a unir. We're going to put it together. Lo que make hicimos us. con help us. Help us. Esto sería. Make us. Make Make us. Make us. Exactly. Make us. Exactly. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, guys, who wants to read? Me, teacher. Perfect. Yes, please. Help me, me with Anthony and uh, no sé si fue Carlos quien dijo me or the. Uh, What's it Carlos? But, but Adolfo? If okay. Carlos. For I see me, Carlos, okay. hand up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Carlos, we want to listen to your voice. Thank you so yeah. much, Adolfo. You'll be next. So, Carlos, help us with Renee's part, please. The competition just released a clone of our health funds. They are attractive enough to make us lose position in the market. What do you we do? We could renew the look of, the, of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with the advertising campaign. Mm -hmm. Renewing, renewing, <laughs> renewing. Renewing, it's look, okay. Renewing. The look and packaging mm -hmm. will take months and and an advertising campaign is too expensive. Good. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategies. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. That's really, really nice. So here we have a couple of, um, well, they are talking about releasing, right? Or what, what are they talking about? What did you get? ¿De qué están hablando, guys? What is the conversation about? Pricing? Advertising? Problem. What is the tema? What problem. happened here? What is the problem? Uh, la voz de alguien, but I'm not sure. The problem is that I think they are talking about renewing the uh, their products. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, they are talking about yeah. renewing the product. Yes, yeah. pero por algo. There is a reason for that. ¿Qué pasó, guys? For, what happened? For, for, for the cloning of, of their handphone. Exactly. So the competition the just released a clone of our headphones. And th this is why exactly they need to change. Uh, they need to make them more attractive, uh, change the packaging, change colors, etc. So let's take a look at this word that we have enough. It says they are attractive enough to make us lose positioning. Oh, they are not good anymore. They are not number one anymore. Uh, let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. So colorful enough, or it is fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release. So normally, if you take a look, 
tenemos la expresión enough, right? And something very curious, guys, is the way we use it. ¿Cómo usamos enough? When is necessary. Mm, when something is necessary, yes. But here, hacemos algo más, que es agregárselo a adjetivos. So we have adjective and then enough. Um, attractive enough, colorful enough, fast enough, right? So le agregamos um, like extra uh, description here. Give me just a moment. So where are you? Where are you? Okay. So we have a couple of these um, exercises here. Uh, I want you to practice this part a little bit. I'm sorry. What's going on? Okay. There we go. So here we have the part of enough. So as you know, enough is suficiente or necessary, but here lo vamos a utilizar two ways. And I want you to pay attention to the way we use them here. Look at this, enough money. Money. Enough. Big enough. Big enough. Big enough. Big enough time. Oh, look at this. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? What's the difference? Enough experience. Enough people, warm enough, tall enough. What's the difference, guys? Que cambio? Um, the adjective. The yes. The position enough. The position of enough. So, ¿cuándo voy a utilizar uh, these words? <laughs> when am I going to use them? Look at this, because son diferentes. Enough money, big enough. ¿Por qué cambia? Why do you think it changes? Uh, the first one is, is to, to talk about the quantity, I think so. Mm, okay, and the yeah. second? And the second, um, for example, it's not if you don't if you don't quantify, but you have to express the uh, in general way. Okay, okay. You know, is a because one is an adjective and the other is unknown. Okay, there we go. There we go. Exactly. So, uh, para hacerlo más fácil, guys, to make it a little easier. We are going to take it that way. Con los adjetivos, enough va de último. Y con los nombres, enough va primero. So uh, let's come up with a couple of nouns so we can um, exemplify this a little better. For example, I want to say, uh, oh, ese es suficiente azúcar. How would I put it with sugar? Se lo pongo antes o después. Enough sugar or sugar enough? What do you before, think? Before, before. Enough sugar. Enough, enough sugar. sugar. Enough yes, sugar. Yes, right. Oh, that's enough sugar. Eso es suficiente. ¿Por qué no sugar enough? Porque esto no es un adjetivo. Pero yeah, what enough. happens with sweet? This is a word, you know, to talk about flavors. So, enough sweet or sweet enough? Sweet enough. enough. Ah, sweet, sweet enough. enough. Exactly. So, with Good adjectives, example. with adjectives, I put it the other way around. If yeah. I want to say, for example, um, is uh, I, I want to, I always put it together with coffee, you know, I don't know why, but imagine, for example, that I'm talking about, I don't know, uh, the weather, for example, and I say, oh, okay, es lo, está suficientemente helado. It's like um, to do, I don't know, one activity, to go to the beach or something. So, or to, well, for the que les patinan, uh -huh, or something like that. So if I wanna say, for example, cold, what would be the, the best way to put it? So enough cold or cold enough? Cold enough. Cold enough. There we cold go. Enough. So the adjective siempre va primero. But okay. can you give me more examples utilizando nouns? So we have enough sugar, enough salt. Here we have enough money, enough yeah. experience, enough people. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Fast enough. 
Ah, fast enough. Lo suficientemente rápido. Yeah, so fast enough. Okay. What else? What enough else? What work. Else? Enough work. Oh, very interesting. Tengo suficiente trabajo. I have yes. enough work. No work enough, right? But I have enough work. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Enough food. Enough food. Ah, oh, very nice. Tengo suficiente comida. I have enough food. Yes. Tengo de, uh, suficientes problemas, guys. <laughs> so I have enough. Enough problems. Enough problems. Ya no me traigan más. <laughs> yes, so I have enough problems. Exactly. So, siempre que hablemos de un noun, eh, el noun va después. Con adjetivos, va al revés. Are we okay? Are we good? Yeah. Well, if not, ahorita lo descubrimos. No worries. <laughs> so take a look at this. We have enough money. Oh, lo suficiente, suficiente dinero. Big enough es lo suficientemente grande, right? Probably shoes, probably a hat, probably a dress. Clean enough. Ah, grande. No está muy limpio, pero está limpio. lo suficientemente limpio, right? Yeah. Enough time. Convincingly enough, lo suficientemente convincente. And so we may worse this word. So take a look at this one. It says, I don't think we have to go to the cinema now. It's nearly 9 p.m. So, ¿cuál de estas podemos utilizar? Which of these expressions, I'm sorry, intenté borrar esto, pero no sé qué pasó. Uh, which of these expressions do you think best fits into the situation? I don't enough think we have time. to go to the cinema. It's uh, nearly 9 p.m. Enough time? Maybe enough time. Okay, so tenemos o no tenemos? We have enough time or we don't have enough time? We have enough time. We have. We have or we don't have? We don't have. We have. Ah, we have look time. at this. I we don't have. think we have to go to the cinema now. It's nearly 9 p.m. Ah, if we don't have ah, enough time. We don't have enough time. Exactly yeah. because the person because says, I don't talking think. about It's talking about if near 9 p.m. It's mm -hmm. too late. It's too late, ah, for example. Exactly. It yeah. is too late. Exactly. Exactly. Number two, guys. They didn't want me in the police because I was then. ¿Por qué creen que no lo querían en la policía? Why do you think? They didn't want this person in the police body. Maybe don't have enough experience. Ah, because I wasn't. Oh, okay, enough experience. That would work. But tenemos acá, I wasn't. Sorry. So tendría que ser un adjetivo, right? So yeah. they didn't want me in the police because yo no era lo suficiente. I wasn't. But si le completamos, I wasn't enough experience. I wasn't tall enough. Oh, I wasn't yeah. tall enough. Yes, guys, me paso. <laughs> so they didn't let me be a fly attendant because I wasn't tall enough. No alcanzaba. <laughs> I wasn't tall enough. ¿Les pasó alguna vez eso? Did it happen to you that you weren't tall enough? No. <laughs> no, but Angelica, you're en super ferias. tall. Ay, en la feria, en la feria in the basket. Para subirse al tagada. Muy, muy pequeño, <laughs> era muy pequeño. Algo? Yes, I, 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 I have a, a tall limit. Ah, I mean, yes, in the, to be a fly yes. attendant, yes. But Carlos mentioned tagada, so I was like, what? <laughs> Tiene que sí, ser algo, también. we need to be tall. Sí. No, necesito yeah. cierta estatura. Are you serious? What is yes, it? Yes. Oh my yes. God. What is the height, guys? What's the height? Um, 160, I creo. One, one, 160. 150? Mm -hmm. 150. Oh, 150. 152. <laughs> <laughs> so I am good enough. <laughs> okay. Okay, wow, I didn't know. No sabía que había limit for Tagada too. Okay, si no, guys, ahí me van a ver en los videos and TikToks, you know. 
<laughs> that I'm flying around. <laughs> where, okay. where, 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 do you, where do you go? <laughs> I know. I, I wanted to go, but, you know, it's kind of difficult these days. Esta semana está abierta, right? I think you mentioned. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm not sure. Probably this week. Probably if I get the time. Let's, okay. Let's go Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, Saturday. Probably at day. night. I have free day. <laughs> But just at night. Guys, vamos el sábado. Let's go on Saturday. Okay. Creo que alguien tenía tickets extra que nos iba a regalar. <laughs> ah, es cierto, es cierto. I don't remember who. I just remember somebody had tickets. So guys, si tienen para que no se les desperdicien, you know. <laughs> okay, let's continue here. Number three, if you can lend me, I'm sorry about this. If you can lend me five pounds or five dollars, I will have to buy the CD. What do you think we can use in here? If you can lend me five dollars, I will have to buy. I will have to buy the CD. What do you think we can use? Enough money. Enough money. Ah, I will have yeah. enough, enough money, money to buy yeah. the CD. Exactly. So if you lend me, right? If you give me five dollars or five pounds, okay? I know I don't have for the okay. job. So I won't waste my time going for an interview. What do you think the person doesn't have? I know I don't have the enough experience enough time ah okay oh very good very good okay i know yes. i don't have enough time for the interview yes uh i know i don't have enough time and enough experience you said for the interview yes experience yes, yeah exactly very good sounds cool sounds really good or i don't know probablemente dinero si la entrevista está muy lejos or the place is super far away y no tiene dinero right So I know I don't have enough money for the interview or to go to the interview. So yes, we can work on that. Number five, if sign this, this petition, we can prevent them building the new road across the forest. What do you think? Number five. No people. Very good. If enough yeah. people sign this petition, exactly. Uh, so if enough people go to El Tagada, it is going to be better. <laughs> so if enough people sign the petition. Mm -hmm. Number six, guys, she lost the match simply because she didn't play. Well enough. Enough. Well enough, exactly. Well enough. Lo suficientemente bien. Very good. So well enough. Or, tal vez podemos decir clear enough. So it really depends on the scenario. Okay. Yeah. Number seven, even if you use a greenhouse, it will never be to grow bananas in this climate or in this weather. Well enough. Warm yeah. enough. Very good. So warm enough. Nice. Number eight, the young girl limped. Do you know the meaning of limped? No. No. Um, no. When you hurt your mm -hmm. leg and you are walking, but on the side, como uh, not walking normally, but one of your legs is hurt. It's the life patojeando in Salvadorian language, right? Okay. So the younger limped, como movía mal el pie, right? Limped um, to make her parents believe that she couldn't go to school. What can we use in here? <laughs> Guys, I think, como cuando no querían ir a la escuela, so when you didn't want to go to school, Convincingly enough. Convincingly enough. enough, exactly. So the young girl limped convincingly enough, exactly. Number nine, this theater isn't for the play to be performed here. We will need at least another 100 seats. What is the problem? They need more seats. 
So the theater isn't. Enough, maybe. Uh, enough? Big enough. Big enough. Big enough. Exactly. Isn't big enough. Yeah. They need more seats. And the last one, guys, clean this room again, Mary. It is not for hotel guests to use. This is easy. Uh, clean enough. Clean enough. Clean enough. Clean enough. Clean enough. Exactly. Clean enough. Mm -hmm. It is not clean enough for hotel guests to use. Very good. Very good. Guys, preguntas, dudas, questions here. Estamos bien? Are we good? No yeah. questions? No doubts? Easy? Difficult? What do you think? It's, it's so difficult, but we have to try. We have to practice. Definitely, know. yes. Solamente recordemos, yeah. eh, usamos enough people, enough money, enough sugar para hablar de objetos o uh, cosas. With, with and, yeah, adjective. Yes, and with adjective siempre lo ponemos después del adjetivo. Big enough. Oh, está suficientemente caluroso. It is warm enough. Pero no en el sentido de demasiado, you know, sino lo suficientemente, right? Uh, big enough, tall enough. So we're talking about yeah. suficiente. Si yo quiero decir lo opuesto, that would be too much, too many, or simply too big. Y eso dando la idea opuesta. Okay, so let's practice a little bit here. Give me just a moment. Just a second. Let me present okay. the next part here. Okay, and there we go. Okay, guys, so in your material, uh, in your book, page number 20, you have this part, how to use enough to modify the adjectives. And you will see a little explanation there. Enough is an adverb that means to the necessary degree, right? And you have, for example, the look of your online course front page is not professional enough. The package is user-friendly enough. The product design is not competitive enough. So let's complete this exercise. Describe the mobile brands below using an adjective and then enough. So we have LG, Sony Xperia, iPhone, Samsung, only four different brands, guys. And let's be creative. I am going to give you some minutes so we can write one example using enough with an adjective. So remember, enough significa dentro de lo que está bien, dentro de lo que es posible. No estoy diciendo que es algo malo, but you can make negative sentences too. For example, if I'm talking about iPhone, eh, creo que sobre ellos yo puedo tener una opinión, right? For example, uh, in iPhone, creo que es... Uh, uh, what? Yeah, but remember that with enough, la idea es que está bien, está dentro del límite. Uh, for example, es pequeño, right? For me, iPhone is pequeño, pero Sorry. no tan pequeño, sino que tiene como la, la um, uh, word, la size normal, digamos, aceptable. So I can say, for example, it is big enough. Mm -hmm. I don't like iPhone, pero a pesar que es pequeño, es lo suficientemente grande, right, grande. para poder utilizarlo, pero yeah. es pequeño. But I would say it is big enough, right? Uh, or if I'm talking about iPhones too, guys, ¿qué piensas de iPhones? What do you think? I don't like iPhones, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm like Samsung it. team. Uh -huh. Yeah. I am Samsung team. Yeah, so, yeah me too. iPhone is it, all, all is opposite to, to fix and to roll up. It's yeah, in I, the, I don't know. Others. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm Samsung team. It's confused. Yes. Creo que escuché una chica. Yuri, yeah. Yuri, tell For me. For me, it's complicated. It's minimalist, but iPhone it's confused. Or Samsung. Yes. I prefer Samsung. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, utilizamos la idea de Yuri. So, Yuri mentions que es complicado. 
Entonces podemos decir, like, ¿cuál sería lo opuesto de complicado para poder utilizar enough? What is the opposite of complicated? Easy. Easy. Okay. Easy. So Probably. it is. Pero como es lo opuesto, lo que queremos decir, so it yeah, is not. It's not Uh, podemos usar la palabra practical, probably. So no, it is no, not yeah. practical. Enough, practical. Enough. Y como es un adjetivo, primero va el adjetivo and then enough. It is not practical enough. No es lo suficientemente práctico, right? Yeah. Uh, I can use also easy. It is not easy enough to use. Enough. Uh, ¿Qué más, guys? Yeah. What would you say about iPhone? <laughs> Defiendanlo, guys. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about iPhones, you know. Expensive. So, you have to pay I got an for iPhone. actualization, I think so. Do you like it? I got an iPhone. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a time question to uh, understand the use, but when mm -hmm. you learn, it's easy as Samsung and many other. I have yeah. a, a, a Huawei too. Ah, okay, you have two. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So it, it, do you think it is fast? Is yeah. iPhone fast? iPhone. Yeah. iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we can, can use full is... images, uh, information. Um, he is always fast. Okay. That okay, is, very that, good. That don't happen when with Samsung. I've been. I've been using Samsung many times and this is fantastic. Oh, nice. That's really good to know. You know, yeah, es que no me gusta la manzana. In, in the beginning, <laughs> it's, it's a little complicated <laughs> to learn to use it. Yes. But when you learn it, it's just like another cell phone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I got married with Samsung uh, and with the camera for Samsung, but I, but. I have seen a couple of iPhones, camera is good, you know, operating system is good, but I yeah. am Samsung team. <laughs> okay. the, problem with the, the problem with the iPhone is the price. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> in, my, okay. in my opinion, in my yes, personal yes, yes. opinion. It's yeah. a little bit expensive. Okay, yeah, yeah. so, <laughs> ¿cómo podemos expresar esto utilizando enough? Mm. No es barato, right? Yeah. Enough money, no. Okay. Si, si voy a utilizar expensive, expensive, it is expensive enough. Enough. No tendría mucho sentido, right? So mm. it is expensive. Es lo suficientemente caro. Mm, probably not. No, no. no. Uh -huh. Okay, let's change it. Uh, yes. It is, it is it's not, not it is accessible not. enough. Accessible. Ah, very good. Mm, okay, accessible okay. enough. Makes sense. Guys, hay una palabra para decir no caro, no barato. What was the word? What? There is a word. Cheaper. Uh, okay, it is not cheap enough. Yes, no. yes, that will work. But hay una palabra en medio. You have expensive, you have cheap, y hay una palabra en medio. No caro, no barato. Like, que se puede pagar, que es accesible. This is the oh, beginning. Oh, What is the word? Afford, affordable. Yes, affordable. exactly. Affordable. Exactly. Yeah. Affordable. It is not affordable enough. Okay. There we go. Enough. No yeah. es lo suficientemente accesible económicamente, right? It is not yeah. affordable enough. Para no decir expensive, cheap, we can use the word affordable. Okay, guys, so these are examples. Uh, remember, Um, va a tomar un poquito de tiempo utilizar enough porque estamos con, ya cambiando la idea, right? That we want to express, but eh, una vez ustedes lo manejan va a ser fácil también. I'll give you some minutes, guys, eh, and give us an example with LG, no necessarily cell phones, pueden ser washing machines, TVs, yeah. Sony Xperia, no sé, guys, si saben de otros artículos que sean Sony Xperia o solamente teléfonos. Samsung, no solo son teléfonos. Samsung yeah. has um, TVs, washing machines. ¿Qué más es Samsung, guys? Um, refrigerator. Uh -huh, refrigerators. Refrigerators. Mm -hmm. Extractors. Estereos, extractor. Estereos, I think. Estereos, yes. ¿Qué más es Samsung? I cannot think. 
Ovens, huh? no, right? Quemadores, cocinas, no, right? They are not sandwiches. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No. Aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's la brand in general. So, go, guys. I'll give you five minutes. Si necesitan ayuda, let me know. Please, vamos escribiéndolos en el chat because I want to read them. I want to make sure that we follow them. Y si se quedan estancados, let us know y acá armamos la oración. No hay problema. No worries. Okay.
Okay, guys, I'm reading your examples. The quality of LG TV is good enough. For me, HP laptop is functional enough. Okay, sounds good. Opera browser is good enough for all cell phones. Ah, okay, okay. Sounds good. Guys, let me see the rest of your examples, please. Hello and welcome back. Okay, let me take a look. It says here, it is not recognized enough. It is not recognized enough for me. It is not a, it is a very not recognized enough. It is not, rec it is not recognized. Okay, uh, all right, Noemi, sounds really good. Uh, probably with the first, um, solamente quizás podríamos mover un poquito, como it is not a brand recognized enough. Eh, solo movemos la posición de brand, eh, so it makes sense. It is diversity enough. Um, okay, so con la segunda, uh, I think you mean like, Es como muy diversificada. I think you wanted to say. So, en vez de la palabra diversity, usamos uh, diversified. Se lo escribo en el chat. Diversified. Está como diversificada. So, it is diversified enough. And eso sería todo el cambio. Very nice job. Uh, Kristen says, iPhone, iPhones are small enough to use, to, use, to use them with one hand. Okay. Very good. 
eh, Christian sounds really good, solamente con la primera eh, tenemos iPhone y en vez de are utilizamos is, right, como singular. Uh, the iPhone is small enough to use it with one hand. Very good, I like it. Okay. Samsung laptops adding enough chip to buy. Oh, pero tenemos chip. Tenemos un adjetivo. Entonces el adjetivo va primero. Samsung laptops adding chip enough to buy. Lo demás está <laughs> súper bien. Uh, no, it's good. Don't be sorry. It's really good. Uh, Sony Expedia. It is famous enough. Ah, uh, very good. It is not available enough. It is update enough. Okay, very good. Solo update. Eh, no, a mí nos falta la D. Like updated enough. It, it is not cheaper enough. Okay. Uh, con la segunda le quitamos cheaper. Solo lo dejamos como cheap. It is not cheap enough. Lo demás super bien. It has enough quality. It is easily enough to use. Easily enough. It is easy, easily enough to use. It is easily enough to use. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, very good. Uh, my tablet is enough complete with is up. Um, Helen, me ayuda con la que dice my tablet is enough complete with, uh, no sé si se refiere como es completa, es lo suficientemente completa or it, Eh, me ayuda con la última parte de la aplicación with is app yes teacher app ajá uh -huh. apps como con las aplicaciones yes oh ok so quizás podríamos ponerle it's enough complete it's enough complete it's enough lo que sucede es que la palabra complete en enough se parece mucho my tablet is enough Enough complete with itself. Complete enough. Mm. Quizás en vez de complete podemos utilizar la palabra useful. Eh, lo que sucede es que ambas se parecen mucho. Eh, ah, pero podemos sí. usar la palabra useful como lo suficientemente útil, probable. Ah, okay. uh, so useful enough, eh, como es un adjetivo, va después, right? Siempre primero adjetivo y luego enough. But, okay, with the apps. Mm -hmm iPhone has enough diversity for all taste. Smallest and biggest too. Okay. Uh, your phone has enough memory. Oh, I like that one. To do my, your, my phone has enough memory to do my homework. Okay, very good. Yes, Margarita, super, super good. Quizás solamente um, unas cuestioncitas de, de dedo, I would say, but they are good. Sony Xperia play music enough well. Um, Como tenemos well, well va primero. So Sony Xperia play music well enough. Le cambiamos okay. el orden. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay, okay. Uh, Samsung has enough kind of cell phones for everybody. Oh, very good. Enough kind mm -hmm. of cell phones. The Samsung cell phone has enough internal memory. I like that one, Judy. Very good job. The price uh, of LG is good enough for its quality. Oh, very good, Rafael. The iPhone should be enough for your work. Okay, should be enough, yes. This TV Sony, Sony TV is big enough for the room. Oh, I like them. Very good examples. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Creo que me faltan los ejemplos de alguno. Guys, si se han quedado stuck, let me know, please. I know that eh, la parte de enough puede ser un poquito confusa. So let me know si necesitan ayuda, please. I'll give you two more minutes. All right, I have the iPhone is not good enough for me. Oh, okay. Okay, so Judy, are you Samsung team? 
Yes, teacher. Hi, Dr. <laughs> Sam. Okay, welcome. Me too. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> like it. I don't know why, but I like it. That, I like it better. Okay, Lenovo brand laptop is useful enough for me. Okay, Iris, hello. Great to see you here. Uh, local TV channel is not good for me, but I don't have a cable TV in my home. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, LG Smart TV has a good, good, good enough image. Good enough. That's an image, good enough. Okay. Yeah, good. Um, it's not good enough, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, Kristen, probably with the last, um, podemos modificarlo un poquito. So, like LG Smart TVs have um, an image, or the color of the image is good enough, right? Um, okay. Mm -hmm. para, okay. Para dejar siempre la parte de enough al final and, and avoid confusions. Uh -huh. uh, but, but that sounds really good. Okay, guys, uh, very good job. I hope everybody had the chance to practice, even si no los enviaron. And we do have one activity to do here. Vamos a movernos un poquito. So we're going to uh, change this a little bit. Uh, let me just check the last, the last example. The phone I have isn't fast enough. Oh, Helen, I'm sorry about it. <laughs> Very good example, though. Okay, guys. Tengo una uh, pequeña actividad here. I have kind of a small activity that we're gonna be doing that is a uh, speaking activity. So let me share my presentation. And guys, of course, la idea es siempre poder practicar a little bit um, the part of the grammar aspect that we check during um, the session. That is la parte de enough. Si tienen la oportunidad, pero no es like obligatorio, right? So I have uh, four different questions here. La primera dice, tell your partner about a time something good happened to you, right? Um, then we have, uh, tell your partner about a time something terrible happened to you. Vamos a intentar uh, expresar nuestras ideas un poco más flu um, fluidamente, right? Más naturalmente. Tell your partner about the last movie that you saw. Uh, of course, uh, any detail is welcome. So that would be nice. And the last one says, give some details on how to save money. So guys, no one is escribir anything. You're not supposed to write anything at all. So you're just supposed to discuss, share ideas, you know, and then we'll come back. Eh, un momento. Give me just a second. Uh, 
¿En qué momento dejé de grabar? Hold on, guys. Give me a second here. Qué raro. Record. No. Record, yes, qué raro, wait. <laughs> What's wrong? No, lo que sucede es que estoy desde. Uh, okay. Bueno, ahorita está grabando, picha. Ahí sí, lo que ver. sucede sí. es que entro desde mi teléfono, you know, para, por las lluvias, mm. por la electricidad. And de repente me quedé friqueada because hitting the computer, I was not recording. <laughs> so I was like, no puede ser. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> no, pero yeah, it's solid. Okay, guys. So um, let me present the questions one more time so you can have them fresh. And just talk, guys. Express your opinions, right? Remember, siempre van a haber palabras que no sepamos cómo decirlas, but that is uh, the challenge, right? De eso se trata. Si el compañero la sabe, compártala, you know, ayúdense, help each other. No es como que oh, tienen que ser pro y a saber everything, not really, sino ayudarse. Remember that, ayudándonos, aprendemos mucho más. So, I'm going to share, the, um, there you go. I'm going to send you the invitations. We have four different questions. Enjoy it, guys. Have fun. Tell your stories. Yo sé que la segunda es something terrible. Quizás es un poco fuerte. If you don't feel comfortable talking about it, it's okay. Omítanla and then you can continue. So, but the idea is just, or invéntansela, no pasa nada. So, or talk about a movie or something. So, guys, we have 15 minutes to do that. Let's go, 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 go. Let's go, Judy. Let's go, Helen. Tell me, let's go. Imelda, let's go. Margarita, go there. Carlos, go there.
<laughs> Estoy en silencio, I'm sorry. So thank you so much for coming back. Definitivamente nos hizo, pues, falta más tiempo, you know, to listen to the rest. Uh, but thank you for sharing your ideas, guys. We'll continue tomorrow. And uh, give me just a moment, guys. Antes que se vayan, les voy a tomar asistencia super quick. So, regálenme confirmación verbal, please, that you're here. Y me ayuden con su camarita as well. So, today is Wednesday the 10th. And I got Adolfo. Regálenme confirmación, Adolfo, please. Se acaba de ir. Okay. I think he hasn't come back. Eh, Andrea no estaba por acá. No he visto Andrea ahora. Carlos. Here, teacher. Gracias. Christian. Thank you. Delmi. Delmi Present. se acaba de estar acá. Helen. Helen was here. Thank you. Imelda. Acabo de ver a Iris. Thank you, Imelda. Arnoldo, I had Arnoldo as well. I got Kenya. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Arnoldo. Thanks, Angelica. Hey, Present. Kenya, quiero escucharla sí. más. Very good job. That was super See cool. you tomorrow. Gabby, Gabby. Hey, uh, I'm present. Thank you, Noemi. I'm here. Thanks a lot, Rafa. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Judy. And I got yes, Daniel. All right. Thank you. Margarita, I got you. I got you already. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, so, guys, solamente un pequeño Please. reminder. Uh, Rafa, gracias por enviarme la tarea. Margarita, thank you so much. Ya la voy a revisar. I'm going to check it already. Uh, well, I'm going to check it in a couple of minutes. Um, quick question. So I'm having a, a day of here. Christian, tuvimos uh, sesión uno a uno con usted. Cristian, ¿está por acá? Uh, no. Ok, regálame un par de minutitos, please. Yeah, I was like having that thought. Ok, thank you guys. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Sí. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Que descansen súper bien, night, guys. Everybody. Be careful. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you, see you, see you. Ok. Eh, Deme un segundo here. So, oh, okay, that's it. All right, so thank you so much, eh, Christian. Eh, le comento más o menos de qué se trata nuestra sesión one on one. So, las sesiones one on one eh, son para que primero veamos como algunas partes. Eh, pues no es lo mismo tener a 20 personas acá, que, 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 que tener la oportunidad de, de enfocarse right, en cada uno de ustedes, mm -hmm. eh, darle como una especie de feedback personalizado, eh, también ver de qué manera tenemos actividades extra para que mejoremos las partes que nos están costando. Eh, mm -hmm. Me encanta que siento que esta semana... Eh, me imagino que ya se acopló un poquito más al grupo, eh, está participando más. So you're trying to give more opinions, more ideas, and that's nice. Eh, so, you know, solo quiero agradecerle porque siempre está acá bien tempranito, super early. Eh, veo que ya me avanzó con la plataforma también, así que gracias mil por ello. Eh, now, algo que he notado, and you still may say, right, si mi percepción it's good or quizás sea de otra forma, es que siento que las respuestas me las deja como bien cortitas, you know? It's like a yes, pero no me da más. And I'm like, tell me more, Kristen, tell me más. <laughs> so, uh, no sé si es, porque creo que el vocabulario sí lo tiene. I think you do have vocabulary. Mm, pero usted me dice. Siento que Ajá, me sí, es un que montón. But, eh, quizás. Pero eh, siente que le cuesta ordenar sus ideas o sí. las palabras. ¿Qué, qué, mm. ¿Qué de las dos? Las dos cosas. <ríe> ok, ok. Ok, no problem, that's ok. So, um, porque sí, siento que, que me da, like, um, con listening siento que estamos súper bien. Because I ask you something, inmediatamente usted me responde. So, eso me da la idea que con listening sí estamos comprendiendo, right? Con grammar me da las respuestas, entonces no veo mayor dificultad con la parte de armarla, de establecer cuál es el orden de las palabras. 
Entonces, eh, vamos a trabajar un poquito con vocabulario. Uh -huh. Vamos a trabajar entonces creando vocabulario, right? Y sobre todo que el vocabulario sea fácil, que, um, que lo tengamos como a la mano, right? Que sea más fácil que lo traigamos y eso nos va a dar fluidez también, va a hacer que um, aclaremos o intentemos dar una idea mucho más rápido. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio, Dan. El, eh, le voy a dejar, tiene cinco minutos diarios, más o menos. Eh, ¿Cómo así? Like adicionales que, le, que pueda eh, dedicarle a inglés. No le voy a pedir una hora que estudie. <laughs> Solo cinco mm. minutos extra. Sí. I'm going to ask you for five more minutes. Okay. Uh -huh. Ahora es miércoles. Today is Wednesday. Vamos a comenzar el día de mañana. So we're going to mm. get started tomorrow. And vamos a aplicarlo también para el día de viernes. So Thursday, Thursday and Friday. Ok, lo que vamos a hacer es bastante fácil, uh, pero tiene su punto de dificultad también. Mm -hmm. Lo que va a hacer es lo siguiente. Necesito que me grabe eh, audios de un minuto máximo. So, one minute, all right. Y el día de mañana me va a hablar de su favorite movie. Necesito que me cuente en un minuto de qué se trató la, su película favorita, right? Uh -huh. What your favorite movie is about. Obviamente, depende de la película, así necesitamos las palabras. Le voy a pedir que con esta actividad eh, no me lo ponga... Eh, no, ¿Usted utiliza mucho Google Tra Translator? No. Uh, yeah. Yes. Vale, entonces vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Eh, porque el objetivo de, estas, de esta actividad es precisamente que creemos vocabulario. So, um, lo puede escribir sin ningún problema, puede escribirlo en español. Pero si usa Google Traductor, le voy a pedir que no me ponga en español el texto para que Google se lo dé todo, right? Ajá. Sino que vaya ordenándolo usted. Y si se quedó en una palabra, ok, ¿cuál es su película favorita, por cierto? What's your favorite movie? Lord of the Rings. Ah, ok, Lord of, Lord of the, the Rings. Rings. By Lord of the Rings hay mucho vocabulario raro. Mm -hmm. I gotta say. Pero no nos vamos a complicar tampoco, right? Uh, si no sabe el nombre de cómo decir, no sé. Creo que son, pongámosle por ejemplo, enanos. We don't know how to say enanos, right? Y creo que hay Wolf. uno. O elfos, or something like that. Uh, Ajá. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Pero imagínense que you don't know how to say it. Eh, no es que vamos a escribir el párrafo en, en Google Translator, sino solo la muy palabra que necesita. Y si hay algo que no sabe, eh, si le voy a pedir que las vaya escribiendo como aparte, en un poste, o en un cuadernito, en una página, en, anywhere, eh, para que ese vocabulario ya se le vaya quedando, right? So, mm. para el día de mañana va a ser un minuto de su favorite movie, lo más que pueda, lo más rápido que pueda, pero rápido no significa que no se entienda, right? Sino eh, no tan pausado pero que sí se comprenda qué es lo que está intentando compartir, right? Eh, mm -hmm. Para el día viernes vamos a hacer lo mismo. So, this is going to be one minute, pero me va a, me va a contar de the last vacation. ¿Tuvo vacaciones? Um, no. Before the pandemic. But, uh, holiday, uh, la semana anterior, last week. No, no. Vaya, okay, no hay problema. So tell me about your last vacation then. Eh, lo mismo, es un audio de un minuto, uh -huh. pero probablemente usted tenga mucho que contar. Entonces solamente recordemos que on your last vacation vamos a utilizar mucho simple past. Todos los verbos me los va a cambiar a pasados, right? Mm. Si es yo fui, I go, went. I went to the park. Si no tiene mucho que contar, no importa. Invénteselo, right? Uh, but keep on talking. La idea de este tipo de ejercicios es que aunque no sea verdad, aunque no sea real, me genera vocabulario. Entonces, mm. eso es, va a ser como el objetivo. Eso, uh, mañana cuando tenga tiempo, you know, durante el almuerzo, unos cinco minutitos, eh, se lo hace, hace, lo escribe o de una sola vez lo graba, como le parezca mejor. Y me lo puede enviar al grupo de WhatsApp o me lo envía privado, como, uh -huh. you know, como sienta más cómodo. 
yo lo escucho, right? le doy feedback y si hay algo que mejorar o que cambiar con pronunciación, yo le digo, lo cambiamos, eh, hacemos, eh, o si podemos hacerlo un poquito más rápido, you know, intentamos hacerlo más rápido, o a veces con el vocabulario hay palabras que no se usan de esa forma, sino de otra. So vamos a, a ver esa parte, you know, and uh, vamos a hacer el día viernes esta parte también de Simple Past. Okay. Veamos al menos cinco, right? Al menos por una semana. Veamos cómo nos funciona el ejercicio. Eh, si considera después de los cinco días que sí le va generando vocabulario, que sí se va recordando de las palabras eh, que utilizó acá para la vacación, por ejemplo, de los verbos en pasado para continuar haciéndolo diariamente. Si no le funciona, vemos de qué otra forma nos puede, eh, podemos crear otra actividad. Eh, para que genere vocabulario, right? Ya sea leyendo, ya sea escuchando, etc. So, probemos esta semana. Let's give it a try. Al menos Ajá. por una semana. Uh -huh. And, uh, y después de la semana, usted me da su, su percepción, right? Si sí si le funciona, si no le funciona, and, and we work on that. So... Pensé que sí, ya lo había pensado hacer un ejercicio parecido por mi cuenta de... Ah, ok. De... de tomar alguna un tema, así, un tema y uh -huh. funciona mucho en inglés. Ajá. funciona mucho pero, you know? pero por cuestiones por... de trabajo como que es difícil pero I know. a veces uno así, necesita esa ajá. presión también sí, eso, I cabal. Know, I know. Eso, cabal. pero igual si a usted le funciona eh, escribir lo que sucede es que algunas personas escribir o leer les es más fácil you know en, no sé cuál es su caso. Fíjese Le... que me gusta como escribir las ideas que tengo en la cabeza y de ahí ya ordenarlas. Pero si usted tiene un texto, usted sí entiende el texto. La lectura es fácil. Sí, sí. Ok, entonces eh, sí, quizás no funcionaría tanto la parte de traducción. Porque lo que necesitamos es al momento de hablar, right? Al momento de expresarnos que las ideas vengan que a little mi, faster. Mi problema es, tengo como, si me pongo las palabras clave, okay. pero no sé qué palabras extra poner. Para como los conectores. Dos. Ajá. Ajá. Okay. Vaya, ok. Siento so, que por ahí va mi problema, no... Ajá, es que siento que sí tiene vocabulario, because I have felt that. Pero igual, eh, intentemos con el primer ejercicio del día de mañana, que es your favorite movie. Ustedes, uh, grábese normal, right? Como normalmente mm -hmm. lo hace. Mm -hmm. Yo lo escucho en, y de ahí partimos, you know? Porque puede ser solamente una cuestión de que nos falten algunos conectores. Uh, oh. Puede ser que eh, nos falte solamente dar más detalles. Uh, or the, eh, que el tiempo gramatical, you know, so a veces son cosas bien pequeñitas, pero que hacen una gran diferencia en el momento de hablar, so let's give it a try, eh, probamos okay. al menos con las primeras para tener una idea de, de cómo lo abordamos, all right mm -hmm. so, uh, questions doubts, anything uh, Christian, uh, cualquier duda, cualquier feedback que tenga para mí, igual es súper bienvenido eh, si tiene like any comment, algo como podemos mejorar también eh, las clases, pues eh, son bienvenidas, you know, uh, siempre que sea para mejorar, we are here. Mm, so. Pienso que quizás lo único que es de, creo que porque somos demasiado, le sería difícil, pero como si eh, digamos usamos alguna palabra o decimos mal una frase, tal vez corregirla. Ok, ok, Pero nice. Sinceramente, lo voy creo a... que es muy difícil porque eh, somos demasiada gente. Sí, a, a veces tomo algunas palabras que escuché en el momento que estaba. Lo que pasa es que la mayoría se libera en las sesiones pequeñas you know, y, y empiezan a, a dar más ideas. Pero um, lo voy a retomar. I'm going to retake that. Eh, gracias por el comentario. Y sí, definitivamente. O a veces uno escucha una palabra que alguien la dijo mal en, en, the, en ese momento también. Se sabe cómo. Eh, pronunciarla correctamente, eh, me la puede mencionar, you know, um, a veces en los grupos eh, no puedo estar en todos, but, pero se lo agradecería, sería súper sí, genial. Pienso que quizás uno dice algo y, y quizás no lo corrigen, piensa, lo dije bien, en realidad. 
No bueno, era así. Está bien. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no normalmente. Ajá. Ajá. Ok. Pero, pero good. O si tiene dudas con alguna palabra en ese momento, eh, igual usted puede expresarla. Porque mm -hmm. a veces se nos olvida también, you know, like, qué palabra era. But, uh, pero eso sería, that would be nice. That would be nice. Se la puede hacer como el recordatorio y, y así todos la revisamos también. Okay. So we practice it. Nice. Gracias por los comments. So, gracias por el tiempo, Christian. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Y me manda el audio, please. So, send me the okay. audio. Okay. okay. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Night night.